live from the O'Hara Construction Studio in downtown Jackson. It's the Bart Hawley Show. I'm David Rice, inviting you to join Bart and his guests. From Chelsea State Bank, Tom Dumont and Jim Sykes. Northwest High School teacher, Marnie Hayde. City of Jackson staff spotlight with City Water Treatment Plant staff, Nick Mangus and Zach Porter. From Jackson Pride, Danielle Brunk and Nate Nims. And from Chelsea Hospital, President Ben Miles. And now, here's Bart. Why, thank you very much, David, and good afternoon. Welcome to you. Thank you for joining us today on a beautiful fall afternoon in beautiful Jackson 61 and sunshine. Today will be just lovely, a high of 65 and light winds. Then things start to get uh, chilly tonight. Uh, we have the possibility of frost, areas of widespread frost, overnight low 35 degrees with clear skies. Then tomorrow we'll uh, start the day with uh, some frost on the ground, then becoming sunny. A day much like today for tomorrow, high of 65. Sunny and uh, warmer still on Friday, high of 78 degrees and windy. Gusts in the uh, low 20 mile an hour range. And uh, yeah, it's possible we could hit 80 on uh, Friday. Our weekend looks great um, for the most part. We uh, are expecting partly sunny skies both days, uh, low to mid 60s for highs, and a chance of rain on Saturday night and early Sunday. Remember, Monday, coming up Monday, is Columbus Day. What kind of holiday is that? Is that a uh, holiday for everyone or just? Uh, everyone. Everyone. Including us? Yeah. I think government, I don't know, who's, maybe. Um, uh, it's going to be a chilly Columbus Day. 54, back to normal uh, seasonal temperatures next week. So I don't even know if we're gonna have an Indian summer because uh, summer extended for so long. Kelly Express invites you to check out their uh, snacks and drinks and all the great deals they have. Each Kelly Express has a unique personality with uh, special products just for that Kelly Express. There's one near you. And you can get uh, great pizza at South Street, Jefferson Road, Grass Lake, the Galley and Napoleon and County Farm Road, and the pizza special this month, a large one item pizza and an order of breadsticks, $17.99 uh, at Kelly Express. Uh, look outside, we've got the Sky Cam. I was looking at some of the uh, uh, cams, traffic cams, uh, live cams in uh, Tampa and uh, Sarasota and it's uh, ghost town and rain is starting as Hurricane Milton is approaching the Gulf Coast of Florida and it's uh, expected to be just catastrophic. Um, already they're seeing tornadoes popping up, uh, rain, winds, and it's just going to increase. Uh, hurricane isn't uh, even going to hit land until sometime tonight. They're still not even sure uh, even of the exact uh, track, but uh, definitely either uh, Tampa or just south of Tampa is where it's headed with uh, potential for uh, Category 4 uh, wind speeds at landfall. Uh, Obviously, uh, the whole state is under a hurricane uh, emergency and will, uh, I'm sure as you will, be um, following the, the weather channel and the, the weather stations to see uh, how everything goes. But um, prayers and uh, thoughts for everyone down in Florida. And I, I think so many of us here in Jackson have uh, friends or uh, relatives uh, down there. Um, hopefully everyone will make it out. Um, uh, safe and healthy. Uh, today is the, what is it, the 9th of October already? We're nearly a third of the month through. 
Yes, 10-9, 2024. It is Curious Events Day. Do you have any curious events, uh, Rainer? Curious events. I don't know. I'm kind of curious about that. It's uh, <laughs> Emergency Nurses Day. We salute emergency nurses. They're awesome. Thanks to the, uh, the men and women in the uh, ER. Uh, Fire Prevention Day. And really, you know, every, every day is good for that. International Beer and Pizza Day. And uh, you can get great beer and pizza at... Burkhardt's Pizza and yes. Pub, yeah, in Spring Harbor. Uh, National Sneakers Day, National Stop Bullying Day. Everybody wear their sneakers. Uh, no sneakers today, uh, Brandon. And Scrubs Day, uh, the outfits that uh, people in the hospital uh, and doctor's offices wear. Scrubs. You know, you can actually buy them yourself. You don't have to be in the hospital or a healthcare professional. You can buy them. They're in the store. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people buy them at this time of year for Halloween. And today it is national, uh, it's weird, it's National Submarine Hoagie Hero Grinder Day. Now, uh, what do those uh, have in common? They're all sandwiches. They're all sandwiches. They're all the same sandwich. And this map shows you, it's regional, uh, how we um, identify this sandwich. Most of the country calls the sub the sub. Uh, by definition, it's got to be at least six, six inches long. It's got meats and cheeses and toppings. But in different parts of the country, it's different things. In parts of uh, New York, for instance, they call it the Italian. But in Pennsylvania, uh, overwhelmingly, it's called, what is it? It's red, the only red state. <laughs> this is not a political map. <laughs> Don't panic, Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but um, it's hoagie. It's, ho it's in uh, Pennsylvania, they call it the hoagie. Here, it's the submarine. What do you call it? Uh, I would call it a sub. 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 sub yeah. yeah. Grinder. Yeah, grinder is one. Grinder. Uh, where I grew up, it was, it was grinder. Mm. Uh, I was on this day in uh, 1986, Phantom of the Opera made its uh, theatrical debut. The, the musical is the longest running uh, ever on uh, Broadway, longest running show of any type on Broadway, The Phantom of the Opera. Have you ever seen it, Brandon? I have not. I've always wanted to go to Toronto and see it. Oh yeah, Toronto, Toronto. The, uh, yeah. Yeah. the Pageus Theater. Yeah. Yeah, well, I missed it too. Uh, on this day in uh, 1635, religious dissident Roger Williams banished from Massachusetts Bay Colony. They kicked him out because he was mad that the colony was trying to impose their religious ideals on the population. And the whole idea about starting a new country was so there would be freedom of religion. So Roger Miller said, enough of this. I'm headed south. He went to uh, what is now Rhode Island and said, I am, along with the uh, Native Americans, uh, particularly the Narragansett tribe, he said, we're going to have a new, new state and it's Rhode Island. And in the particular town that he was in, he named it Providence, based on the success he was having of creating religious freedom in what is now Rhode Island. Isn't that exciting news? <laughs> And we do have some baseball history, you know, it's, uh, it's October. And in 1928, the Baseball World Series, the Yankees beat the St. Louis Cardinals 7-3 to at Sportsman's Park, becoming the first team to sweep consecutive World Series. And Babe Ruth, the star for the Yankees, he smashed three home runs. Now today in the J brought to you by Experience Jackson, and we have... Happening later today, the Jackson Camera Club meeting from 7 till 9. If you're interested in photography, join the Jackson Camera Club tonight. Uh, whether you're a brand new shooter or an experienced pro, you're all welcome. Whatever camera you use, come on by. The meeting assignment tonight is sunrise, sunset. And all you have to do if you want to participate is show your uh, photos. Bring them on a, a digital a USB drive, one each on the assigned topic, and you can also bring a photographer's choice picture. 
They are meeting in the Toy House community room at Christoph and Sons floor covering, 7 p.m. All are welcome. And it's Crafternoons at the library. Crafternoons happening at the Jackson College Library in the William Atkinson Hall, Central Campus, room 107. Get your craft on at Crafternoons at the library. Whether you're uh, looking to just uh, join in on someone else's craft project or start one of your own, all are welcome. Let's stitch up some fun together. That's it, Today in the J, brought to you by Experience Jackson. Yesterday, Consumers Energy in Jackson Public Schools held a press event to unveil new school buses. And you may wonder, why is Consumers Energy involved with school buses? Well, Consumers Energy and Highland Electric Fleets are providing funding and professional expertise to help Jackson Public Schools obtain and power these electric school buses. They pretty much look the, the same on the inside. Brandon, you were there. They're Can extremely quiet, though. When they pull away, you can't even tell that they're driving off. It's really? Amazing. Yeah, it's huh. very quiet. Hmm, that's one thing I'm not sure I like. You know, you can't hear them coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, they're clean, and uh, they uh, will be um, economical to operate. The... Um, District doesn't have to buy uh, gas, right? No gas. No, 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 no gas. No. And there is um, Lauren Snyder, Jackson native, Consumers Energy VP of Customer Experience, and a ribbon cut with Jeff Beal yielding the giant scissors. 21 new electric buses now on the road for Jackson Public Schools. And this is ha happening throughout the country, the number of electric school buses has uh, increased dramatically and soon it's expected that's, um, that's all we'll have. We have a brand new food circus that debuts today on JTV. Adrian Sharp checks out the fourth annual K105.3 Fall Fest and Chili Classic. Here are uh, a few highlights and a preview. Fall is here and that can only mean one thing, chili, lots of chili. And what better place to attend than the fourth annual K105.3 Fall Fest and Chili Classic held here in downtown Jackson. Thousands of people pack the streets for not only chili and salsa, but for the vendors, great live music, activities for the kids, and so much more. The agri-science program at the Jackson Area Career Center is fantastic, and those mums are really selling fast. As far as the chili and salsa, hungry festival goers are eating that up fast too. But don't worry, there's plenty to go around. But when you need to take a break from eating, how about trying Mr. Foam? As you can see, it's very popular with the kids. And judging by the smiling faces, the parents love it too. Yes, I'd say Mr. Foam is a hit. Brand new Food Circus with Adrian Sharp today at 3, 7, and 10 on JTV. Our sponsor of the day today is Jackson College. We salute and thank Jackson College. Our community is super lucky and blessed to have such a great institution as Jackson College in our community. Thank you, Jackson College, Dr. Dan Phelan and the board and uh, team for being a partner here at JTV. We appreciate it. Thanks for all you, you do for for the community, and thanks for uh, being a big part of JTV. Thank you, Jackson College. Water in the County National Bank Green Room from Tri-County Water, and people are loving it today. Uh, do you know, you wonder how much water you should be drinking? Well, according to uh, Dr. Brad Bivens at Henry Ford Health, take your body weight, divide by two, Convert those pounds to ounces, and that's how many ounces of water you should drink. Let's try it. Brandon, how much do you weigh? Uh, about 170. 170, so half of that. I can't do the math. Uh, 50, 65? 65. 65. So that's 65 pounds. You should drink 65 ounces of water a day. Do you? Yes. No, you don't. I'm drinking water right now. Okay, all right. Well, good job. <laughs> I do. 
Uh, today on uh, JTV, we have a great lineup of guests, and we are going to uh, debut a new feature on uh, JTV, a new uh, monthly segment, Financial Focus, presented by Chelsea State Bank. And we have Tom Dumont and Jim Sykes in from Chelsea State Bank, their new, their new location on Wisner Street in Jackson. We also have on our show today, uh, representing Northwest Schools with our teacher feature, Marnie Hayde. It's time for the City of Jackson Staff Spotlight, and we have two folks from the Water Services Division of the City, Nick Mangus and Zach Porter. Danielle Brunk and Nate Nims will be here from Jackson Pride to promote their drag show. And Ben Miles, president of Chelsea Hospital, we catch up with Ben today. All this and more. Great to have you here and we get started right after this. What if I told you there's a legal team whose winning record goes back over 50 years? What if this team had a roster of some of the best and brightest in their field? And what if I said that every time this team wins, you win too? I'm talking about Michigan's first family of law, Sam Bernstein Law. If you've been injured in an accident, calling Sam is the best call you'll ever make. Get a winning team to fight for you. Get the Bernstein advantage. Call Sam. Kelly Express Marts are conveniently located throughout South Central Michigan with convenient hours of operation. We pride ourselves on our fast and friendly service to get you going on your way. We're here when you need us. Full service and fully stocked stores, fresh hot premium coffee, and cappuccino. All Kelly Express Marts are staffed with friendly, knowledgeable people committed to providing the highest level of service. Kelly Express Mart. <laughs> Ace Roofing is a family-owned and operated business that serves superior quality flat roofing and repair services. We have been in business for over 53 years and our premium customer service, high-level integrity, and world-class workmanship set Ace Roofing apart from other roofers. Over 53 years of experience, professional and informative, trusted among the customers, guaranteed customer satisfaction, Ace Roofing slash Jackson.com or call 517-782-8601. Jackson Coffee Company. Roasted fresh in store so you can brew it at home. outlet is here for you when your back is against the wall our vast inventory of aluminum steel plastics and more will help you get the job done whether you're a professional or do-it-yourselfer our retail stores are your one-stop shop for metals you select it we cut to length and shear to size right here right now because when you need metal alro metals outlet has your back
Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. And find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Meet the most powerful people in America. Why? Because people 50 and over decide elections. Last time, they outnumbered voters under 30, 4 to 1. So candidates need to pay attention to what these voters care about. Things like protecting Social Security and supporting family caregivers. Voters 50 and over will show up at the polls, and they vote with purpose. If you want to win, start talking about what's important to them. Great coffee today from the Jackson Coffee Company. Thanks to Brian Surgeoner, owner at Jackson Coffee Company for the great coffee. This is a strong roast, I would say. Uh, dark, roast. dark roast. Jackson Coffee Company has two locations, downtown and on East Michigan Avenue in the Henry Ford Specialty Building. They also are the owners of Jackson Candy and Fudge Factory where October is a, is a fun time because they've got all kinds of great October treats like candy apples, caramel popcorn, treats for Halloween trick-or-treaters, and more at Jackson Candy and Fudge Factory. Thank you to Andy, Andy Burkhardt at Burkhardt's Pizza and Pub. They have a great lunch for us today featuring their signature item, the wood-fired pizza. We had four or five different varieties we tried today. All awesome. This one's my favorite, the uh, margarita. The um, giant Italian curds, something that Andy's very proud of, and he should be because they are awesome. They are giant battered cheese curds tossed in Italian seasoned garlic butter, and they serve them with a house vodka sauce. They've got all kinds of great uh, sandwiches and sides. The uh, stone-fired pizza, salads, and much more. And this Friday, they are going to be featuring the meatloaf special. Uh, wow, good old home cooking. The meatloaf special this Friday. And they, they stay open late on uh, football Fridays till midnight. So after the game, come on by. And they're so busy, they are just growing like crazy. They are in need of wait, wait staff and bartenders. Great opportunity to work for a great family, a great guy, great company, great restaurant, Burkhart's Pizza and Pub. You can apply uh, in person, stop by, meet Andy, and uh, learn about the opportunities for wait staff and bartenders at Burkhart's. This Friday night, high school football on JTV Live. The Minuteman Sewer and Drain Cleaning Football Night in Jackson with Chelsea at Jackson at 6.45, the pregame show, and the game will replay again at the conclusion and all weekend long, along with last weekend's Vandercook Hanover Horton game this weekend on JTV. Our first guest 